the thirteenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is the Mame. M E M. This letter is made various ways. I find it easiest to make a slanted line from bottom left up to the top right, and then make a curved line that comes over and maybe even squiggles a little bit, comes up and then back down, and then to put a straight line that angles down from from the top left down to the right. So something like straight line, an angle, and you can just make that straight if you want. It's not super important whether you put the little flourish at the bottom. And then a straight line to finish it off that points off to the, to the top left. So there's various ways you can do this. Some people insist that you want to have a gap there. And I think normally there is a gap there. But there is nothing else that looks the same, so it's not super critical. But I just do a start out with a straight line, then I angle it down with kind of a curved, not quite half a circle, and then stop it before I get to the original line. And then I put this straight line that hits this original line kind of perpendicularly. Maybe that's, that's a good way to look at it. So just a, some strokes like that to make this letter called a MAME. MAME also has a final form. So when it shows up at the end of a word, it just is a square, just like a box. And so that's a pretty easy one to figure out. You just draw a box and you're done. So that's the final form, the final MAME. And MAME has, sounds like our English M, M as in Mary. So that is MAME.